So the first thing I'm going to do is using these sculpt tools, um, and you can just hover over the sculpt tools and see this lifts the surface, smooths the surface. And what we have, uh, we can kind of see what's happening a little bit here under our tool settings. We have the strength of these tools, that's, and it tells us what it is for sculpting, the sculpt tools. And what this does is this fine tunes, high poly meshes uh, with really intricate detail um, that we will then apply to the low poly mesh. So I can hit the B key to expand the size of my brush. And I can use that to like smooth out some of the edges here along the wing. Um, but maybe I want to start to add some detail of those uh, of those feathers into this model. So I can use there's there's lift a surface, and there's uh, grab tool. The grab tool's uh, pretty useful also. Um, I like the grab tool because it allows me to kind of pull material out from where it already is. So let's start to like add some feathers. Or add some feather like texture to our model. Um, now that's kind of grabbing and pinching and pulling in. So I might want to try a different tool than that. Let me use this lift tool. And I might want to turn down the strength of this. So the strength is, it's very arbitrary. Uh, the size of this model could maybe be a lot larger. Let's move, let's try to add some feather detail. I might want to use there's also the knife tool and that might allow me to kind of now because this model still is um I might want to change this again the strength down quite a bit too but this will allow me to kind of um now all this these tools are like pretty crude compared to what you can do with a with a software like ZBrush which is really built for, for sculpting. So if you wanna, um, if you want to mess around with ZBrush and try that instead of using these sculpting tools, this is just to give you a bit of a, um, just a taste of what is possible when, and also the procedures of how to sculpt. Uh, what am I doing that's wrong here? What I'm doing that's wrong is I'm not using Symmetry. So let me go in and make sure I'm using symmetry over object Z, right? And now that's what I wanna do. Now I wanna add those kind of feather indications, making sure I'm doing it on both sides of my model. 